Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about the specific style of training that I am currently participating in, and it is known as daily undulating periodization, or abbreviated DUP. So you may have heard of this before, you may not have. It is a more advanced training style, um, but it can be good for a variety of things. So I wanna compare this to linear periodization to start. Linear periodization is what most of you have probably heard of and or do regularly. Um, what linear periodization says is that we are going to have one focus, maybe that's strength, power, maybe that's hypertrophy, whatever that is, we're going to work on that specific focus for four to eight or potentially more weeks. And then after those eight weeks, we are going to switch and focus on a new style of training. Um, so let's say you focus on hypertrophy training for six weeks. After that six weeks, you will transition and do strength, can't spell, focused work for um, let's say another four to six weeks. And then after that, you're going to transition to more power style training for another four to six weeks, right? So each period of time, each um, mesocycle in your training is going to have a specific focus that you are going to lean on. DUP training says we are going to focus on all of those different elements at once. So for your DUP style of periodization, you can do it daily or weekly. So a daily example would say, Monday, we're gonna focus on hypertrophy training. And this is going to be for your main lifts. So you might do squat and bench press at four sets of eight reps for those lifts, right? And then Wednesday, we are going to focus on strength, which means for your main lifts, let's say now you're doing squat, um, bench press, and deadlifts, you're going to do a strength focus rep scheme of maybe four sets by four reps. And then Friday, you're going to do power focused for your main lifts. So you're going to do six sets of two reps with a speed focus, right? Moving a moderate of weight fast, Versus your strength training, you're going to looking at moving a heavier load and hypertrophy, you're looking at doing a moderate load for reps to stimulate these different focuses. So DUP training says we're going to work on all of this at once. Now, if you take the weekly approach, it's pretty much the same thing. All it says is that you're going to have a different focus each week. So for weekly DUP style, let's say for week one, you're going to focus on hypertrophy. Right? So all of your main lifts, my whiteboard won't stay up, all of your main lifts are going to be in a 4x8 style rep scheme for that entire week. Right? Um, let's say then on week two, you decide you're going to focus on strength work. Right? So you're going to do the same 4x4 four four rep scheme for all of your main lifts for that week. Week three then, you're going to transition to power for your main lift. So you're going to do six by two, again, focusing on moderate weight, but moving it fast for that whole week. And then you're going to kind of cycle back through each week at the beginning, changing those rep schemes as you progress. So Dup says we're going to focus on all of these different things at once. That can be good style training um, if you are wanting to build a particular lift. So right now my focus is on building my squat, getting the weight up, getting the movement pattern down more efficiently. And so I am doing dub training so that I can train squats three times a week and really focus on my main movements there. You could also do duck periodization, like I said, if you need a break in your training, you want to try something new, um, you know, you're wanting to hit all of those focuses at once. I will say that reach research shows between duck training and linear periodization that linear is going to be 
better for getting you those long-term results. So research shows that if you're looking for achieving certain goals, linear is probably going to be your best bet, working on that same focus for multiple weeks at a time with multiple training sessions. Um, DUP, like I said, really just great for if you're wanting to build a particular movement. And so with that, we will go into my style of training currently that I'm doing and I'm going to kind of break that down for you and what the purpose of that training program is. Okay, so now we are going to talk about my specific training program, what the goals are and how that program is structured. So as I mentioned, my goal for doing daily undulating undulating periodization is to build my squat. I'm doing that lift three times a week in hopes to build strength within it, build the movement pattern, um, and really just make that the focus for the next couple of weeks. And so that is the lift that I'm doing every single day, along with a couple other accessory lifts. But so what I would recommend is if you have a particular lift that you feel like you're lagging in or that you really want to focus on and build, take that lift, whether it's squats, back squat or front squat, deadlifts, bench press, overhead press, hip thrusts, take that lift and incorporate that multiple times a week with this style of programming. So getting into it here, Monday, the first day of the week in the program, the focus is hypertrophy. Okay, so that is going to be to help build strength, build more muscle, build more um, cross-sectional area of that muscle, all to build strength and again specifically targeting my squat. So my main lifts are what's going to follow this periodization. So for hypertrophy, we're going to do 4 by 10 on my main lifts, which are going to be back squat and bench press. So that's it, just those two main lifts for four by 10. The reason I picked squat, obviously that's what my goal is to try to build. I picked bench press as an upper body lift. Um, I like it more than overhead press, so it's easier for me to do that many reps of. But the reason I did not throw in like a deadlift on here would be that I would be doing 40 reps of squat followed by 40 reps of deadlift, and that is just a lot on the lower body. So squat's the focus, we're gonna leave deadlift for another day. So both of those lifts are hypertrophy focused four by 10 rep scheme. Now, I do have some accessory work built into this day. Um, the purpose here is that these are going to take the majority of my training stimulus and the most out of me. So following that, I have a super set that's going to be hip thrusts and single arm dumbbell row. Okay. Now these are in a rep scheme of three sets by 12 reps. So still a little bit of a hypertrophy focus. Um, and these are going, these movements are both going to help build those main lifts. So hip thrust is in there because I've got a lot of squatting, right? I want to match that with a hinging pattern. Hip thrust is a great lift that you can do higher rep on as well as going heavy with that. So I wanted that in there. Single arm dumbbell row, we've got horizontal pushing with bench press. So I wanted to match that with some horizontal pulling. Um, the single arm focus doing it with the dumbbell. And the reason that's primarily with the dumbbell for me is that this being a superset, I don't want to use two barbells for a hip thrust and a row. So um, just trying to make that a little more convenient and conducive to my training environment. So that is the first day of that workout. Now, going into Wednesday, so second training day of the week, the goal here is strength, which means I'm going to focus on lower reps, higher weight, Again, main lifts, squat as usual, because the goal. Um, I'm also going to do bench on this day as well to match the hypertrophy stimulus training, get a little heavier work on the upper body as well. And here's where I'm going to throw in my deadlifts, right? Strength focus. So all of these exercises are going to be in a four by four set and rep scheme, typical strength um, set and rep scheme there working you know, under 20 total reps, so being able to push higher weight. Now these are all done individually, and these are gonna take a lot out of me. So the only other accessory work I have on this day are step-ups 
and that is in a 3 by 10 to 12 rep scheme. So again, more hypertrophy focused work with the accessories on all of these days, simply because, um, because they're accessory movements, they're typically ones that you are going to go not quite as heavy on, but want to push higher reps with those. So um, I chose step ups purely because I wanted a single leg squatting pattern because I'm doing so much bilateral work during the week. I don't want to develop any um, compensations, so I wanted to make sure to throw in a single leg squatting pattern within that. And again, these three, we're doing strength work. They're going to take a lot out of me mentally, physically, out of my central nervous system. There's going to be long rest periods in between each of these lifts. So these lifts are going to take the majority of that training for that day. Step ups, real quick, some hypertrophy work, single leg squatting pattern within that. So that's the focus there. Now, moving on to Friday. Friday is a power focus day, which a lot of people struggle with power because you're using a lighter weight and you are doing even fewer reps. Um, so it does, it, for some people, it doesn't always feel like they got a great workout in, but the goal is not to drain your entire body. The goal here is to work it, work on speed, right? So continuing to be able to move a lower to moderate amount of weight very, very quickly. Athletes, this is your focus for most of your training is going to be power building, depending on, unless you're like a super endurance athlete, but for, even they will have power built in. So big focus here. The main lifts are going to be squat, as usual, right? Um, overhead press. So now I'm building in that um, vertical pushing to match all of the horizontal pushing I've got in here. And those are the two main sets for that day. Because we are doing power, we are gonna do six sets of two reps, right? So 12 total reps. That load is not super, super light, but it's not super, super heavy. It's gonna be a moderate load that I can move very quickly. And the goal is going to be moving that weight with speed while still maintaining good form. Okay, so longer rest there. Um, those are going to be the bulk of the training for that day. Now a little bit more accessory work on Friday. Um, I built in chin-ups. Okay, um, the purpose of chin-ups is we've got right vertical pushing. So I wanted some vertical pulling. The chin-ups, great exercise. Um, the hand position with the chin-up is going to target more of the bicep, which is going to help, again, build other movements, especially those vertical pushing and pulling. So we've got chin-ups that are set by themselves. Um, I'm really just going to try to maximize those and go as much as I can. Um, I do have it listed as back offset, so I'll be adding weight to those and taking it off to kind of fatigue the muscles a little faster and stimulate more growth. So that's set by itself. The other remaining... Um, accessory work is going to be a superset and it's going to be RDLs with um, a half kneeling shoulder press. Hopefully you can read that. Okay, so those are superset together again in another hypertrophy rep scheme. So those are going to be three by eight to ten reps each. Um, the purpose here is again, we're putting in another hinging pattern to make up for all of the squatting patterns that I'm doing. So if you look at this, right, we've got squat, 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 squatting pattern. So I want a hinging pattern, a hinging pattern, and a hinging pattern to ensure that we're still getting balance within that. So RDLs to target that posterior chain for accessory work, half kneeling shoulder press, because like I said with this, this is power focus for this overhead press. So it's gonna be lighter weight potentially, which means I want to make sure that I still am having strength and hypertrophy within that vertical pushing motion. Um, like I said, with chin-ups, it's gonna be very likely that I'm going to be able to do more than 12 total chin-ups. So I don't want any imbalances. So I'm going to add half kneeling shoulder press to build up more vertical pressing since there's such little of it within this whole program. Okay, now those are the three lifts that day. Goal is to build squats. So that's the reps that you see 
the exercise that you see three times throughout this program. Um, hypertrophy focus on the first day, strength focus on the second day, power speed focus on the third day. Um, as I mentioned, because my goal is to build my squat, on each of these days, I have specific prehab and mobility work program to do before I hit this squat every day that's really focused on increasing my hip range of motion, increasing my knee range of motion and stability and ankle um, stability and mobility within that. So doing all of that prep work to really go into that squat feeling the best I can and build that way. So that is an example of one way to do daily undulating periodization for yourself. Um, like I said, pick the lift that you want to build within and put that in three times within that week. Um, it is a much more advanced training method. So compared to linear periodization, right, this is something that's much more advanced because you're doing multiple main lifts multiple times a week and that can be very taxing on your body on your central nervous system and on your mind so um, not a training style that i would recommend for any novices but definitely one where if you're an intermediate lifter or much, much more advanced and haven't tried this training style um, i highly encourage you to give it a try and let me know what you think